Hello everyone, it's Lizzie Left, and this is Ignomatica 2 Skyblock. Hope everyone's having a fantastic today. I'm having I'm having a really good one myself. I hope you guys are too. Uh, we're gonna get back to this pack here and just kinda hear the things out. Just kinda get to her, man. Uh in between episodes, I did a lot of stuff here. So I changed a lot of blocks. You see here, I got a lot of skystone. I changed all my bridges. I changed my base. I finally have the inside of the base kind of the way I want it. I'm actually really happy with those blocks here. Uh, they're actually Skystone, so that is pretty cool. I went ahead and made that essence, and uh, yeah, it is looking pretty cool here. I made this item as well. It's called the conversion one. It actually made doing that a lot easier. So if you kind of throw that down, take that, shift right click. Let's see here, you can actually just kind of swap the blocks out and actually turn that all into cobblestone. It made my life a lot easier. It was a little weird with the stairs though, actually, when I did the stairs. It kind of, yeah, because like if I kind of, I guess, do this <laughs> if i have a stair selected it actually placed it like a stair instead of placing it exactly how the stair goes so it was a little strange because i'm used to i guess the exchanger and it kind of just puts it the way the stairs were kind of scanned right when you shift and right click with it but uh worked out worked really good made it so i could change my base over and uh it shouldn't be changing anymore unless you know i add stuff to it but uh on top of that looking pretty good here i actually just jumped from one to the other I actually want to go down stairs, hopefully. There we go. And uh, kind of take a look down here really quick. Uh, down here, I automated the creation of uh, arcane stone and living rock in a really limited way. It isn't full automation or anything. I made nine stacks of infused wood and nine stacks of arcane stone. After I had made about, <laughs> I don't know, uh, I think it was about three stacks of living rock manual. I just got kind of tired of it. Uh, but I went ahead and uh, grabbed these. These are scanners. So scanners, you can set them to scan blocks. And uh, when they see those blocks, they see a red, they kind of send out a redstone signal. So it's actually set to scan uh, living rock. So when it sees living rock, it actually puts out a redstone signal, deactivates uh, this redstone torch here, it makes this auto breaker kind of fire because it's on deactivation. And I just did that kind of on both sides here. Kind of like I said, in a real limited fashion. You could definitely do this a lot faster or a lot more at once. I just didn't want to deal with AE2 uh, planes. This is what they're called. The planes there. So I think what they're called. Yeah, the Annihilation plane and the Formation plane. They don't play very well. They're not very nice for automating this. It's so much easier with refined storage. It's one of those few things that refined storage just does so much better. Uh, over here, I just have two Ender Chests. Just doing what I call Ender Chest crafting. <laughs> um, this one's actually just make a bone meal from bones that we get from the mob farm. And then setting them to the cloches. Uh, inside of our actual compact machine. This one is kind of doing the same thing. Uh, it's just making coal from coal essence. And uh, it's actually sending that over to the... What is that area? It, it would be our Batan area. So just uh, kind of fueling the flowers for now. I did make uh, a couple more essence here. Let's get rid of that. Um, let's see here. I made Certus. That's Skystone. That one's actually Thaumium. So we can actually make Thaumium now. Uh, gold. I guess that's aquamarine. A couple of these other ones here that I just didn't have. Silver. I had tin. <laughs> lead. Yeah, some of them I just hadn't got to yet. But, uh, we have them all now. All 28 cloches are actually full. So, yeah, I'm going to actually have to make some more cloches really soon. I actually have a fluid seed. I have no place to put it. I'm actually going to go in that last bin here. I'm probably going to move some more to the side. Just kind of flank it for the ones we got kind of coming forward. So, that is pretty cool. And uh, that is pretty much all I did there. Uh, over here, let's go take a look over here real quick. Just to show you something. One of my plans here. You'll see that it's a big giant sphere. <laughs> They're really just ghost blocks. Uh, it's for a machine I kind of started using here. I've, I've never used this before. I knew about it. Uh, I think in, what is it? Um, Forever Stranded? Someone was using it in there. I kind of first kind of became aware of it. But it can build different shapes here. So it can build spheres. It can do... Um, domes that could do cups which is just an upside down dome you could do pyramids and also just do like straight lines or facing or squares and stuff like that uh but uh yeah i'm gonna be using this to actually build the sphere i just don't know what blocks yeah uh, that's what i'm actually gonna kind of do with the base here so that is kind of the plan so yeah pretty cool pretty awesome and uh if you guys can think of a good kind of block here to kind of build the sphere out of um i'll kind of use one main one kind of build it <laughs> this thing's pretty slow too so it's actually going to take a while probably about that's probably about one hour to two hour to build uh, once I do have the block. Do you think of a good idea for a block to kind of fit in with everything else? You maybe shoot me that. I do have to move the towers though, so that's definitely something that I need to do. Uh, what we're going to get to right away though is going to be a little bit uh, of blood magic really quick. 
And uh, you can see here, I actually kind of up the altar up to tier three. So this is the tier three altar. This is actually from this book here. So you can actually kind of shift right click with it. It's called, what is this one? Inspector of Scandalum. Pretty cool little book there. But if you shift and right click, uh, it'll set to different kind of levels of the altar. It's actually a multi-block, right? So if I set it to say tier six, you can't actually do tier six, I don't think. I think that one's actually not even in the mod yet. <laughs> so let's actually set it to tier five here. Uh, it'll just show you the ghost blocks, right? So you can actually see exactly what you need to build. It actually makes your life a lot easier. And uh, pretty cool, pretty cool little book there. So that is awesome. To make that is just the uh, book inside the altar with a thousand blood. So that is pretty cool. Uh, over here, I have a little crate kind of set up. I did kind of automate the creation of slates. So I went ahead and did, uh, I think it was about, yeah, two and a half stacks plus these other few that I made here. So I don't even know what that, oh, that one's for a recipe we're going to do. Uh, we needed four of the imbued and two of the reinforced. So I went ahead and made those. They're going to be for Astral. I should grab those so I don't forget them and have to run back. And uh, I kind of made the, where is it? I have the second level orb here somewhere. I don't even know where I put my orb. I probably dropped it off somewhere. I have the, uh, oh, it's floating right there. <laughs> I made the second level uh, blood orb. Uh, can't really see what's in here right now. There should be about 20,000 life essence in this thing. We're going to make an item in a second where we can actually see that. Uh, it's basically just portable blood that you can kind of use for spells and stuff like that. It's part of the network. And uh, it's used in a lot of crafting as well. So if you want to do crafting, um, a lot of times you have to use this. I had to use it to make these, which are the actual blank slate, which, uh, you know, form the multi-block, right? Or sorry, blank runes is what they're called. Blank runes. Let's do that. Yeah, right there. There's all kinds of runes you can do. So we'll get to those later on. Really not my focus right now, so I'm not going to go too in-depth. But uh, they do upgrade the altar as you go. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and kind of do a couple recipes here. So let's go ahead and grab, what is this? It's called the Hellfire Forge. Uh, we're going to make a sword here. <laughs> kind of get that done. Because I need to start building up will. I'll kind of go over that in a second. Going to grab that. Now I'm going to grab probably you. Where's this one? That one. I want to make about four or five of these. I think these have to have one will in them for them to be able to make what we're making, which is called the Petty Tartaric Gems. Let's kind of throw that in there. That one actually might be able to make a few right there. Let's see there. Yeah, it only pulls one, right? So if we pull the gem, actually start making another one. I'm going to make about five, I think. It's just good to have a couple of them kind of kicking around. Uh, these things actually hold what's called will, and these things have will as well. They all have numbers on them. The will is actually used for crafting. So when you go to do, say, a recipe with one of these, it takes a minimum amount of will. Sorry, it takes a max amount of will, like the top end amount of will it needs in it. Plus it also needs, I guess I just need one more. Um, I'll show you here. Let's go to, <laughs> I'm not even making sense, right? Let's go to use on this. If you kind of highlight this arrow. So if I wanted to make a lava region, which isn't something I want to make, I would have to have 32 will inside one of these gems, and uh, it would drain 10. So that's kind of how those work. They're kind of, you know, it's kind of like a fuel source for the mod. But anyway, let's kind of grab that. Let's pull you out. And, uh, we'll keep one of those on us. Grab you. And, uh, we're actually going to make a sword called the Sentient Blade. Cool thing about the Sentient Blade is it can kind of kill mobs the way you were doing it. I guess we were doing it yesterday uh, with the snares, except for it automatically does it. And they automatically drop their will. And as long as you have one of these gems in your inventory, the will will actually go into the Petty Tartaric. I think the petties can only hold a maximum of 64 will. Um, to get the altar to the next level, we're going to have to get to a gem that can hold 400 will, I think, for the bound blade. But uh, we're not going to worry about that today. It's going to be one of those things we just kind of do moving forward here. Yeah, I think this one. Where is it? That's the bound. Regent. Yeah, you need 400 will and only uses 10. So you're actually going to need uh, a much higher one. What is the... I guess you need the common. Yeah, it looks like you need the combat minimum. So we'll level that up over time. But uh, we have the sword now. Anytime you kill a mob, it'll fill this up. Oh, I didn't even show that down here. I made a little makeshift mob farm <laughs> for this exactly. Um, well, this and demonic will. Uh, later on, the blood shards that we'll need as well. And, uh, yeah, just a one wide little three tall mob farm. I could just come over here and kind of kill a mob. <laughs> there we go. And, uh, there we go. Got a little bit of will out of it, and as we kind of move forward, be kind of easy way to do that, I think. I think you can automate that, too. We may do that at one point, but to start off, didn't seem like the thing to do. 
And uh, yeah, let's get the next recipe here. Let's stop babbling. Uh, the next thing we're going to make is actually the divination sigil. Oh, no, it's not. We actually need to make uh, another item to actually be able to craft that, which is called the arcane ashes. And uh, this thing's actually pretty cool. Let's go ahead and grab you. I think we have a Tartaric in there. That's cool. And, uh, this Hellfor Forge is just really simple. You can see that. So it is a pretty cool little item. But anyway, these Arcane Ashes is just, like I said, a different form of crafting. It's actually pretty neat. So if I take that, I'm going to right click the ground. You get this little kind of rune on the ground. Grab a piece of redstone. Right click that. Kind of knows the recipe I'm going for now. Going to right click over the slate. And uh, it should give us a division, division nation civil, uh, sigil. I can't even say it, man. I feel very dry. What's up with that? Anyway, this thing's pretty cool. You should right click. It actually shows you uh, how much blood is in your network. And now when we look at the altar, it actually tells us the tier, how much blood's in there, and uh, kind of gives us a little more information. There is an upgraded one of these, and we may get into that at some point. Not really worried about it right now. Okay, the next thing we're going to get to here is going to be kind of finishing off everything we need for the Celestial Altar. Uh, we actually need this Arcane Pedestal. It's actually the last component we need. So we're going to go ahead and make that. Uh, to do that, we actually need to, well, finish a quest here. So I've gone ahead and I've made the Essentia Smeltery and some of these Olympics. Uh, so we go to Smeltery. Check that out. You don't want to use this one very much. It's very inefficient. Uh, I think one-fifth of what you pump into it gets turned into flux so you don't really want to use it a lot but uh not a hard recipe at all pretty easy just need another crucible a couple of those brass plates there the limbics only had one really new item and, uh, again it's just base crafting item so not a big deal we'll need two of those so you're good to go get that done once that's kind of done there kind of make a multi-block so i did make several limbics um yeah the way this kind of works here you smelt things up so you get a fuel in there you put items. I'm actually going to use air here. Well, I'll actually explain it first because I'm not going to do it the dirty way, <laughs> which would be, what would I smelt here? I guess that, that there. So that one there has, you can see there, it actually has, what, seven kinds of Essentia? To do this kind of the right way, you would actually need seven Olympics. Uh, I've only got five because it kind of pumps it up as it goes. So put one kind of Essentia here, another one here, another one here, another one here, another one there. And then you can kind of either use files to take it out or the warded jars. You can also use piping to kind of move it around, kind of put it into the warded jars and stuff like that. We're not worried about that right now. We really only need one file. And uh, we're going to get that there. We need some air. I need some air here. I need uh, 10 of that, I think. Sweet. And uh, we're also going to need one glass file. Kind of get that done. Uh, might as well grab my goggles as well. Kind of just so we can see what's going on here. Some of this might get burned away as flux. This thing's a little slow to moving the actual Essentia around. <laughs> but you can see there, it's actually starting to come up there. Now we may see some puffs of flux actually go off because this thing, wow, that actually messed up a bunch of times. It turned four of them into flux. <laughs> yeah, it's not like a perfect thing. It is uh, very kind of touchy, this one. You don't really want to uh, pump more into it than you have to. Because uh, you can make a mess of things. But anyway, you can see there it went there. If this thing had more than one type of ascension in it that I was putting in there. So like I said, the ender pouch. It would put the first thing here, the next one here. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and grab the file. Get rid of that. And, uh, we actually don't need that stuff anymore. So we're good. Let's go ahead and I guess uh, grab a stone and a feather. Because that's what else we did for the actual kind of finish this off this quest here. Feather. There we go. And one of them. And uh, that should actually satisfy the quest here. Go ahead and complete that. And uh, there we go. We've got a runic matrix. This is the next part of it. Part of the multi-block for the infusion. Uh, we need niter and four of those bricks. I was going to use those bricks at one point. So we actually have some of them. I think if you take four of them, you can make those paving stones, right? <laughs> yeah, you can actually move faster with those things. Uh, but I didn't end up doing it. Because I didn't like the texture, to be honest. But anyway, let's go ahead and do that. This will give us, wasn't that the runic matrix? Let's go here. We should be able to just look it up this way now. Now we have it unlocked. Oh, we can't. What do I still need? There's something wrong there. That was any kind of night. Oh, I'm missing uh, something in here. Yeah, I pulled out the Ordo at one point. So I was using it for something. Go ahead and put uh, that right there. There we go. We have a runic matrix. I'll actually handle the next part of this. Let's just hit complete. Oh, there we go. There's our pedestals there. We can actually make those now. 
And uh, we might as well make the mystical construct, which is kind of the main part of the altar here. Uh, we'll need some regular arcane stone, so let's do that. So it looks like it takes some slabs here. Let's uh, pull that jazz and make a couple slab recipes. Whoops, that's the wrong stuff. Let's, uh, let's make about that much. There we go. I'll make quite a few of these because uh, you kind of need them later on anyway. So, do how many do we got here? We could do eight. <laughs> so, I guess that's what we're making. There we go. There's eight of those. And uh, we have everything we need for the recipe now. And uh, we also have everything we need for the start off the multi block. So, let's go ahead and get the multi block done. We'll kind of push forward. Um, let's actually get that off so I can actually fly again. <laughs> Uh, see here is that the center that torch probably is let's go ahead throw that right there we'll also need i guess the matrix oh i didn't grab enough arcane stone here i think i used it all didn't i sweet that's awesome let's go ahead and grab some stone just some regular stone i believe it's not cobble is it i can't remember you can just make this stuff so quickly oh i got more right here i don't even have to make it here we go could just go right here sweet and then we need a little uh floaty matrix up here i believe so let's just do that oops i just messed up everything i ruined christmas christmas is over christmas ends a lot around me but anyway let's get that done that done we just should be able to smack that with a piece of salus mundus that should actually for the multi-block there uh, we can just kind of put some altars around here and uh we actually have the multi-block and if we had an infusion to do, we could actually do it. But, uh, we're not actually going to get to that right now. But boy, does that thing look awesome. Oh, I just love that multi-block, man. It's just a really cool looking one. Anything that curves, right, in Minecraft? Just mind-boggling. <laughs> I think we got everything, though. Uh, that, that, that. I need one pedestal. Okay, we'll kind of drop that off. We're going to head right over to the Astral. Kind of get this goat here. Uh, we needed two of those. I must have left one up here. Let's kind of grab that real quick. There you go. I guess we can head back down here. I think we need some uh, Stardust and some Resonating Gems. Not Resonating, just the Aquamarine. I think it was four and four. Awesome. Uh, we got our lenses here. Did I need a lens? I can't remember. Let's look at the altar. Oh, we need a Rock Crystal, right? So we need a Rock Crystal. Altar. There we go. I'm not sure how we're doing on Starlight either. So it's going to be a little iffy. Uh, exactly whether or not we're going to be able to get to the ear distant right away or have to make some kind of buffing up the power of it so that 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 oh and the thomium let's go ahead and grab thomium i suppose thomium i guess we could just do that i think it's just this right just a circle i'm gonna make a donut why won't you donut there we go <laughs> let's make a bunch of thomium there we go that should be good enough for now let's make a couple blocks i suppose because well, it seems like it's going to be a thing. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. And, uh, let's see if we can actually finish off this multi-block here. So I think the Stardust was in the end, right? We actually have quite a lot of star uh, not Stardust. Uh, starlight in this altar, just being here, actually. I think it was right there, right? I think it was that. And uh, I think it was this, right? There we go. Looks like it has enough Starlight, so we're good to go there. And, uh, we'll just kind of do this. And the second I do this, actually... This altar is going to cease working because this multi block is not going to be valid anymore. So we are going to have to kind of go ahead and uh, make the next multi block. But uh, that's not too big a deal. Can I get that done? Actually, while well, that's going, let's go ahead and grab this stuff. All this stuff. <laughs> All the marble kind of po components. There we go. And uh, grab that. That should actually be a quest, right? Sweet. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, rip this thing down because it's actually useless to us now. Grab it all. It's actually floating one too high anyway. I don't even care if we lose these blocks because it's really just a matter of chis chiseling again. Because so I have uh, Marble Essence, so that's not even a big deal. There we go. And uh, let's get the next multi-block done. I think I actually remember it, to be honest. <laughs> I guess we'll find out here in a second. I think it's like this. So let's go like five. I, have to need, I need to grab a little more sooty here. And then we can kind of get this going. I remember a 7x7 seven seven of Sooty, so it kind of works all around that. So let's go like you right there. Sweet. And I guess grab our actual wand here. Oh, I don't know what I threw, but hopefully it's not one I needed. <laughs> Four. 
six. Is that six or seven? Oh, that is six. Here's our seven. And I think it goes like this. Let's go bricks. I don't know if it's my resource pack that is making these blocks look so good. But, I'm, but my George. My George? I have no idea. Uh, they really look good in this pack, I have to say. I don't know if it's, like I said, the mod or my resource pack. Faithful 32, the one I always use. It looks like it was. It was the raw marble I tossed. And that's actually the one I need, isn't it? So let's grab you. Sweet. Kind of just throw that there. That in the corners. Yeah, I totally remember this one. It's sad. When you've done a mod so much, you just start remembering these things. I feel a little bad about myself. I think it's the rune on the bottom. You know, I think it's quicker to just try it than uh, actually go into the book. Let's go ahead and grab some pillar. You know, and I think chiseled on top of these, actually. Uh, you won't have to really change the altar after this point. You'll just have to add to it, so it's not even that big a deal. Uh, chiseled would be... Why do I only have three? You have more right there. Fantastic. Sweet. Sweet. That. And maybe that. And I'm confused now. I know... Actually, no, I'm not. I know exactly what it is. Let's go ahead and grab some brick. <laughs> I think it just goes like here, because I remember thinking it was odd that it doesn't kind of link up. You have this kind of corner. Yeah, it's like this. This is it. We're going to have her done here. Uh, yeah, we'll have our next altar. Ah. Not used to flying so fast anymore. It's really confusing me. <laughs> Although I'm loving this flight, this flight I have to say. Uh, and our altar. If I was an altar, where would I be? Tell me my altar didn't drop in the void. I'll be really upset. It has to be right here. Okay. For a second, I thought I was going to have to go check a video. Duh, there we go. We have the multi-block. It's finished. We're not getting a lot of starlight. We may have to boost that up. We'll actually definitely have to boost that up. So we may just go do that right now. Uh, we're going to need spectral relays. I already have the lenses. I think we need uh, gold for this. So let's go ahead and grab some gold nuggets. There we go. And we're also going to need some wood. So let's grab some oak. Think of that. Uh, the spectral relays are just going to let us do a little multi-block here. So yeah, not a big deal, but it has to be done. We're going to run out of starlight here. <laughs> but we should be able to craft these during the day. Uh, I think it's this, right? That, and I think it's any kind of marble. Yeah, right there. Let's go ahead. Do that right there. Sweet. Uh, yeah, we can just make a multi-block of these. So I made four. I guess I only really need three with the way I have the setup here. Get rid of the U. Let's grab... What do we need here? I think it is... I might have to look this one up. Marble Arch and Chiseled, right? Right? I think this is it. We'll see. Oh, and some Sooty. Do I have Sooty? I do have Sooty. You have everything, man. We're good. Okay. So, if I was remembering correctly, <laughs> it would be this. I'm just going to put three of them around here. Just use three of the multi-blocks. You only need to do one, I think, probably. But, uh, we'll kind of see how this works. I'm not sure about this arch here. I guess I could look, but... Anyway, we'll just keep going. We'll just truck on forward. You know, I think it's just alternating blocks with the chiseled in the corners, though. Seems to be a recurring theme with a lot of the multi-blocks. Having the chiseled around key points like that. Anyway, he must... Uh, Hellfire must like that block or something. <laughs> there we go. Arguably one of the prettiest mods in Minecraft, I have to say. There we go. We have that. Uh, let's grab our lenses. Kind of go have that. There we go. And, uh, once I add those, we should see particle effects if I actually did this right. Yes, I did. Look at that. I'm a wonderful person. Awesome. So, yeah. We're getting starlight. That's kind of boosting up. During the daytime, that's not too bad. I'm curious what we have at night. Uh, let's see if we can actually make something here. What is that called? The imperfect? We have an imperfect ritual stone. Yeah, we might be able to make that right here, actually. Here. Uh, I need a... Some kind. I got a weak orb. I have. It doesn't matter which orb, actually. Let's go here. Nope. Throw that there. I'm going to make one of them. We're also going to grab a block of lapis. This is actually from Blood Magic. It's going to make it so we can actually turn day into night, so that is pretty awesome. Go ahead and uh, I guess uh, it doesn't really matter where it sits. Put it there and there. And if I right click this, I think, right? There we go. Oh, I did it two times. You can see there, it instantly turned to nighttime. 
And uh, it would have taken a little of uh, our blood out of our network. I forget how much it takes. But uh, that is really good starlight, actually. We may have enough to do the altar. Uh, let's look at the iridescent really quick. Kind of see what we need here. Um, I'm going to spell it wrong. So let's just go this way. So we need four buckets of starlight. Oh, we got to do some color lens recipes, apparently. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> okay. Oh, we need resonating gems before we can even do this. So the next part of this, I knew we were going to have to do the resonating gems anyway. I was wondering if we could do the rest. Oh, and we need a celestial crystal. So we're going to actually have to do two more multi-blocks. One is going to be for the resonating gems. That's going to be the starlight diffuser. We're also going to have to do the entombment one um, as well. So that's definitely something we're going to have to get to. And I'm not sure. It looks like the recipes are actually pretty normal. What was the other one? Infuse? Infuser? This one. Anything weird in there? That one's actually pretty easy. I might be able to actually do that one right there. Right now, I should say. Uh, I do have star metal. Let's go ahead and grab in here. Let's grab some star metal. Awesome. And uh, kind of grab that right there. And, uh, look at the rest of that recipe. This recipe is a little weirder, right? I'm going to need that. Also going to need some gold. Come in you. Take one of them and uh, see what else. Looks like just a bucket of starlight and a bunch of marble. It's a little weird doing it in a skyblock because there's no way of really looking for good starlight areas like you can in other packs, right? You just get what you're dealt and you kind of deal with it. I'm going to do that right there. And, uh, what am I missing? Oh, this. This is totally wrong. And I guess I just need two aquamarine and a bucket of starlight. So let's just go grab that to you. And I do have a bucket of starlight right there. And, uh, this will handle another one of these tables, man. We're just getting her all done. Not tables, one of these other machines. This one here is basically used to infuse starlight into different kind of blocks there. And, uh, yeah, it's not one I use very much. Because it's, uh, it has a chance of using buckets of starlight. And um, yeah, I just never bother. I did try automating it once, I think, a nuts and bolts torque. It took a whole time to... It took like 12 different fluid droppers. <laughs> Not really worth the effort, to be honest. So yeah, it's just uh, very hard to automate. This one actually takes a while. But anyway, we have that one. Apparently that's a quest, and that is pretty cool. But, uh, what was the two mint? Two mint needs resonating, right? No, this one doesn't. We can actually just use a regular crystal. That... Did I keep a spectral? Do I have one more? I have no idea. I thought, yeah, I got one spectral here, right? Might as well get everything crafted, right? Let's go ahead and grab a rock crystal. And uh, look at the rest of this here. Looks like we're good. So the rest just looks like ruined. So let's grab you, 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 you. Get that finished up there. I don't want to push too many nights in a row because uh, my reactor might shut off. But uh, I'll have to kind of go check that at some point. Grab that. I made a bunch of star medals in between episodes too. I think you can just craft that really easy now anyway. Uh, with sky resources. I didn't bother automating it though. Don't think we're going to need that much. We need a rock crystal. Right here. What's in the top corner? It's just two aquamarine. Grab two of them. Fantastic. And uh, aquamarine. Oh, lag. Um, aquamarine just, uh, we could just craft that down with the essence. What am I get it wrong? Something. That's right. Star metal. Rock crystal. Oh, it's not a tuned one, is it? Rock crystal. Any? Is that what's wrong? Right there? Yeah, I'm a total derp. Anyway, we'll just get that one going. And after this, we're going to have uh, two more multi blocks. So, yeah, kind of. Have to get to that at some point. But, uh, we got a lot of quests on here, which is actually pretty cool. Let's kind of drop some of the stuff off here. Uh, kind of accept a couple of quests, check a couple of our uh, loot chests, I guess. Probably be a good idea. It has been a while since we've done that. Let's go ahead and check. Where are they at here? Well, I got uh, yeah four in here already, so we'll just grab that. I haven't really been checking my loot chests. We actually have like 20 of them in a chest at the base. I haven't actually grabbed them. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, let's go to see what we got here. Thumbcraft, we got a couple as well, so might as well get that done. I wonder, is the effusion in here? Do I have to grab that matrix or anything? Doesn't look like it. Okay, that's cool. Let's go grab you. 
Sweet. And I guess we'll grab one of you as well. Awesome. And I think that's all the quests we have right now. Just want to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Every time I look, it seems like I have about four or five quests. Oh, geez. Like, look at all this, man. We have quests to accept all over the place. But, uh, yeah, we probably have about 30-some loot chest right now. <laughs> Darren, what did we get? What did we get here? We got some clear purple. Really glass. I, I don't want glass. Go here. We got... Those are actually generators. They're just passive generators. They would have been nice early in the pack. Not really a big deal anymore. Uh, I need to drop off something here. Kind of do this for a second. Sweet. Where do I get the alienness? I must have grabbed that to craft uh, something. It would have been the worst gem to use, actually. Our worst viz. Definitely won't be using the sky hook in the sky block. That sounds like death just trying to happen. Uh, we're going to get rid of that as well. Let's kind of get some more of these on our bar. Hopefully we get something good, man. I heard of some people getting a uh, portal of the deep dark. I would love to get that. Because otherwise, uh, I don't think we can actually get any uh, draconium that we need for it until after we fight the ender dragon. And I'd just like to see what kind of ores are spawning down there. Because uh, we do have access... Dang, damn it. To the digital biter now. Another unbreakable wand. Let's not look at the void. Another Putin. You must know I'm Canadian. Another railgun, and we got green balloons. And uh, balloons, that's what I feel about them. <laughs> we'll just let them fly off into the sunset. So what I think I'm going to do is probably in between episodes, I'll probably set up those multi-blocks. I'll probably get those done. I can't even remember where they're at, like the two-bit one. Need a whole lot of sooty. I don't exactly know where I want to put this thing. This thing's giant, right? So... Yeah, what is that? 225 just sooty marble? That's not hard to make, but just a big area, right? And then we'd also have to do... Is the infusion in here? Where's the infusion at? Can't remember where infusion's at. <laughs> Must be the one before this, or maybe the one after. Uh, maybe we'll take a look here. That was the two mint. I don't think it's in Constellation. It's not, is it? Oh, maybe it is. Starlight Infuser. And I'll have to do this one as well. I'll get that one done as well, I suppose. Get those all finished up. I totally forgot too, and I keep I keep doing this in packs. I keep forgetting that there was a block added to make it so you can actually automate this. Easy too. Yeah, I, I keep, keep forgetting about that. People keep calling me out about it. I just realized that now. When I did a Nuts of Bolt Torque, uh, this was a new mod. And uh, a lot of the stuff, like this page I don't even think existed. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think this was actually moved here later on. This altar wasn't here, that was for sure. Uh, I think the last altar was the top altar, so yeah, definitely a thing here. But uh, yeah, I think I'll do this stuff in between episodes, kind of get it all done, because otherwise it could be me just building multi-blocks at this point. Uh, that's not very fun. We could just uh, kind of use them. That's actually the fun part. I might actually have to start the process of growing crystals as well. Oh no, we don't need it. We don't need crystals right away. I just need attuned ones for crafting, I guess. We won't even worry about that. But uh, yeah, I think I'm actually going to wrap this one up here. So... Yeah, I just got to let everyone know that I do have Discord. If you want to stop by, say hello, any of that jazz, feel free. Everyone is welcome. Just uh, keep it classy. Also, I do have Patreon, so if you want to think about supporting me moving forward and making videos, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Uh, yeah, I do have three Patreon servers. I have Full Craft, I have this pack, and uh, I have the World Gen, so the regular version of this pack as well. So definitely, you know, some options available there if you're kind of interested. But uh, I am going to end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later!